What's going on YouTube world? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys, yes, yet again with another YouTube video. Before I even get started in the video, what I want you guys to do is I want you to smash the thumbs up button and I mean literally annihilate the thumbs up button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. So that is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. What I want you guys to do is I want you guys to stay tuned for this video because I'm going to be breaking down to you guys on how I search for the very best ATM locations that can give me the most profits that most of you guys are looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Austin Lewis. I'm a 25 year old serial entrepreneur, ATM owner, real estate investor, and overall, bad. No, I'm just kidding with you guys. But anyways, I'm considered the ATM king. We, uh, my partner and I, we have well over 100 ATM machines ourselves personally. And then we do right around 2,500 plus ATMs in processing. But in today's video, I'm pretty much just gonna be covering for you guys exactly how to go out there and, and, and generate a pretty solid ATM location or a pretty solid contract. Again, this is just gonna be one of the ways, one of the methods that I actually use to actually go out there and see if an ATM is gonna to be one of the top potential locations for myself and for my ATM. So one thing I do is again sitting on my computer here if you guys are watching from this angle which you guys probably are right now go check out my new 49 inch monitor. I'm pretty fired up. This studio is going to be so sick. So make sure and stay tuned for our content. But anyways, back to you. Uh, one thing I really use is I like to use Google Maps. Yes, I know, it sounds lame. My mom uses it, I get it. I use Google Maps. All you guys gotta do is check out my screen here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna search barber shops, okay? For example, if you guys are potentially looking at barbershops, then barbershops is gonna be barbershops. For those of you that are in Scottsdale, I'm searching up barbershops. What I really look at is obviously there's a lot of uh, barbershops in the Scottsdale area, a fairly large uh, variety of them, but I check out the stars. And the reason I check out the stars is because people like you and me actually have the opportunity to literally go and essentially rate this barbershop with how they did, they gave their experience. For example, we'll click blurred lines here in Scottsdale, right? And you can give somebody a gift card that has their address. They're located in Optima Snoring, which is actually where our office is, right? And so, you know, you can get an idea of, you know, the haircuts. People can give the reviews. There's over 75 reviews on this particular barbershop. But what I like to see is I like to see that these barbershops that I'm looking at, they have you know over three and a half stars. I say three and a half because some of the more rundown locations, some people are gonna give bad reviews. So at the end of the day, I just wanna make sure that they have somewhat decent reviews because again, at the end of the day, my mom certainly looks at these before she picks a restaurant. My mom certainly looks at these before she goes to a bar. Some people certainly look at these. I do, even Google Maps, right? Let's pull it up. If you're here, and you're on Google Maps and you search restaurants nearby, what pops up? Four stars, four stars, four and a half, three and a half, three and a half, four, four, four and a half, four. You guys see my point? So everything is based on reviews. So you can click Toka Madeira and ride down and right here you will see these, okay, highly disappointed in my pickup order. Ordered the keto bowl, brought it home, bag was stapled, opened it up, and for 17 with what? So and so, right? People took their time uh, to write these reviews so that individuals like you and I know exactly what kind of haircut we're getting when we're going up to this barbershop. So what I like to do is I like to read through some of the reviews, ladies and gentlemen. So again, I'll click this barbershop. It's got 40 reviews, or 40 stars, excuse me. It's got over 70 reviews, uh, or 40 reviews, excuse me. And I look at it, it has this little lemon aftershave, that stuff that smells good. This seems like a pretty good place to put an ATM. Why? Because it's got great reviews. There's, it, it looks good, but here's what else I look at, right? So not only am I looking Google Maps, okay? I'll even pull up a satellite version where I will literally zoom in to what is around there, right? What's around there. I will see what businesses are next to them. I'll see what businesses are by them. I'll see what people are using, what people are utilizing in terms of, you know, is there a bar? Is there a restaurant? Is there nothing? Is it in the middle of nowhere, right? I'll kind of, where's the closest ATM at this location, right? So I'll look at this, I'll, I'll look at the Dapper Devil. I'll scroll down, I'll see some photos. 
you know, you can look at some photos by the owner. So I typically look at the photos by the owner. Again, this is an older, rustic look. Uh, barbershop, you know, typically older barbershops, older men are gonna go into it, and older men don't use cash, so I wouldn't put an ATM in a place like this. But more importantly, like for example, what I'll do is I'll go right here onto Instagram, and I will look up the Dapper Devil, and I will check out their location. There's really not a lot of, of, of chairs. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm using my resources, okay, for an ATM location, because again, at the end of the day, an ATM is a business. Uh, that's something that I utilize. You know, what else do I dive into? I utilize Google Maps, I utilize Instagram, I check out most places on today's world, they have Instagram, therefore I utilize Instagram. Because again, it allows me to diversify. Not only am I checking them out on Google Maps, not only am I reading the reviews, not only am I looking at stuff like that, but I'm also able to you know, get an idea of what other people's experiences are and what's really right around that area. And again, I can look at, hey, how many chairs do you have without actually calling them. So I can check out a place in 60 seconds, boom. Great reviews. Let's do, um, uh, give me another location here. Let's do uh, salons, right? Boom, salons. Uh, let's do Saints and Scissors Salon. Boom, check it out right here. Bam, look how small this joint is. Look at this. This is this is actually a pretty good location right here, ladies and gentlemen. Why don't I have any team in here? It's got one, it's got two, it's got three, a little sitting area, front desk, it's got four, it's got five, it's got six, it's got seven, and it's got eight chairs, ladies and gentlemen. It's got eight chairs. So now here I am saying, okay, I can put my ATM right here. I can put my ATM right here. I'm actually gonna reach out to this place. And at the end of the day, I look at this, I Google their place, I check it out, and now obviously, obviously I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna read the reviews. Okay, it's got 84, it's 4.7 stars. I'm gonna come down here. The chairs, great. My next question when I call them is gonna say, hey, how many people do you guys see on a, on a daily basis? I'm then gonna look them up on Instagram because chances are they're gonna post Instagram photos. Why? Because most businesses do, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason that businesses use Instagram uh, for their business and their, and their profiles is because they think it attracts more customers. Therefore, that's exactly what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go check it out. So again, I'm looking at all sorts of different angles when it comes to this particular uh, way of actually checking out and seeing if an ATM location is a somewhat decent location or if it is not going to be the best location. There's a hundred ways you guys can go out and do this. I just wanted to come to you guys with this video and just share with you some of the different tips and some of the different tricks on how I'm able to actually go out there and find solid ATM locations that I know are going to produce massive amounts of revenue for myself and our clients. Okay, so again, Again, if you guys are brand new here, drop the comment section below if you guys have any questions. If you guys wouldn't already, make sure and smash the thumbs up button on this video because it certainly helps me and the YouTube algorithm, which we're trying to blow up this channel, and we are gonna blow it up because you guys are an incredible community. So thank you guys so much here. If you guys haven't already, make sure and subscribe and uh, definitely drop in the comment section below because it's greatly appreciated. Austin Lewis here saying, we'll see you guys in a future YouTube video.